Welcome to our last video's great success on the Men's National Hill Pump Championships, which I did mention the women a lot. People said, you know what, I want a whole video on it. So the man has delivered. So here we go. So um, this is the start sheet, as we can see. Some of these names recognise, some of them don't recognise. Um, obviously, favourites at the end. I've looked through most of the, uh, most of the people's like results recently, seeing what they are. It's obviously very annoying, like, if we're going to go on, like, hey, Simmons, for instance, as you know, hers is okay, but, like, you go on Rebecca Richardson, like, you look at her results, and it just says she's 19. It's like, well, can we not have some context, please? Like, you know, what she come, what female, like, she came 27th in this, but won, won the women's race. So it's like, well, can we just not just sort this out, please? It's really annoying. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. CTT, you know, they are what they are. Anyway, so we're going to go th run through a couple of numbers of what people have been doing, etc, etc. So, right, so first off, Scratch Rider, well, technically last off, to be fair, um, Fiona Burney. She, uh, I think, is the reigning national champion. No, I'm just not sure, but I think so. Um, anyway, 273 watts, so you can see 20 minute effort, 53 kilos. Um, so quick mass, what, 4.5 watts per kilo, more or less, a bit more than that, more like 4.8, 4.9. Um, so, yeah, pretty fast, like, you know, pretty fast, sorry, very fast. Um, Got the KRMP, I haven't really seen, I think she's done a couple of hill climbs recently, but hasn't uploaded on Strava. That disappoints me intensely because I think it's the best way of really showing off what you're doing on Strava. I think it's a good way people can find out who you are and, you know, if you've got sponsors, etc. It's a good way to, to share them on there. So it's a bit annoying that people don't upload Strava, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I think she'll do what pretty well, to be fair. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll lob that in the actual calculator because the old, the old man's brain is not in top condition, unfortunately. This morning, yeah, 5.15 watts per kilo for 20 minutes. So like, that is, that is very up there, um, for sure. Uh, so definitely, definitely um, expecting to compete. Obviously, Hato was a bit shorter. I'd say, not sure what the women's course record is, but I'd say it's probably like 14, 15 minutes, something like that. Um, considering the men's about 12. Um, so yeah, we around that. I'm not 100 sure. Network's going on Rebecca Richardson. I've done looked a lot of my friends and other people think that she's she's going to win it. Um, I'm not so sure on based on the numbers, but you know we'll, we'll see. Um, so this is Beely, so it's a pretty good one to be fair. Um, she got beaten by Lizzie Banks, but I don't think Lizzie Banks is actually doing nationals, which is a bit annoying, but 295 watts for 10 minutes, which is, again, very solid. Um, weight, 58 kilos. Uh, I saw on another file, she said that, um, so this is Lizzie Banks, but I, I don't think she's racing, um, from what I could tell with anyway. Um, I don't think Lizzie Banks was racing. I mean, she's no one on the start list, so that's a bit of a shame, because she did win Beely. Um, and yeah, she's very strong. Again, numbers, 310 watts. Um, 320 watts, 62 kilos. Again, it's similar numbers to 290. Maybe Rebecca Richardson's power, um, or one of them under reads a little bit, one of them over reads potentially, because I think based on the watts per kilo, they should have been, you know, I think Rebecca Richardson probably should have won that climb. But anyway, I think these banks would do well, but unfortunately, she's not racing. Uh, but I think Rebecca Richardson is going to do well. We've got another one here. It says all time low competitive weight. So she has 58 kilos on Strava. I'll assume she's a little less than that. Um, but yeah, the tumble climb, she finished, she's got the QM. 15 minutes here, 286 watts, again, very, very strong, uh, 286 divided by 58, again, it's, it's, it's being numbers, 4.9, I think it is, 5 watts per kilo, for 15 minutes, so yeah, it's pretty solid, um, she's got a light bike, she's got like the full hill climb setup, I'm not sure if everyone does, um, that does make a difference, if you have a full hill climb setup, then obviously that is going to, you know, 2 kilos lighter is, is significant, we then have Jossie Loudon, who I think, has a very high chance, I think she's going to win, um, she's in 290 watts at 56 kilos, um, so again, that's well over 5 watts per kilo, um, 5.2 watts per kilo. And you have to remember, this is a TT position. This is, you know, 24 minutes TT position. I assume it's around Thruxton, so I haven't actually raced that. No, no, you can paddle around all the corners. But yeah, like, I think that is probably the best performance, like, looking through all the Strava data that I've found so far. I think Rebecca Richardson will do well, um, definitely. And I, I also think um, Fiona Burney... Like, it's hard to tell. This is in September. You know, it's almost two months after that now. Um, so I think there's a high chance that she would have increased her numbers. I know, like, for myself, the numbers from beginning of hill climb to end of hill climb season do go up quite significantly. So she could still be in it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, the numbers here is, is really, really good. Um, especially considering it's in the TT position as well. Like, that is... That is top. Anyway, so then we're going to go on to some of the other people who don't seem to have Strava. I can't find our Strava details. Um, so we have Hayley Simmons, who I think will do well. She came sick. Um, I think she'll do well. 
I'm not how good, obviously her 10 mile and 25 mile times are outrageous. I'm not sure how good climbing she is, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I think Jossie Lowden has been destroying people left, right and centre on the TT scene. She's got good road racing signed for um, drops this season as well. So I think overall that is my favourite for the win. It's going to be hard for like 15 minutes. I think it's probably going to have to be like 5.3 to 5.5 maybe. For twenty minutes, for fifteen minutes, something around that. That would be my my gut instinct. Hard to tell, especially like you know I, I don't the weights are gonna be like is Joss down fifty six? She's gonna be light. She's gonna be heavier. No one really knows. Um, are these weights accurate? I don't know. Maybe you just put it in when you first up Strava, but for sure it's gonna be good. And I'm excited to see who's gonna win national hill climb champs on Sunday. It's gonna be a good one. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Um, and I will see you in the next one.